guys, thank you so much for stopping by. So I'm gonna be talking about the Wet n Wild Velvet Matte Lip Color. And um, I believe they're trying to replicate Narcissus of Velvet Matte Lip, um, but, so I was really excited when I saw this. Um, and again, there's a huge butt in there just because I'm like, you know what, this is so cheap. Um, depending on where you are in the U, I'm in the U.S., I'm in the Midwest, I'm in Indiana, um, Northwest Indiana, if that makes a difference, so I'm close to Chicago area, um, so anyway, in my area, this can go down to two, like, uh, almost two dollars, so like a dollar, I don't know, almost two dollars to three fifty, and, um, I'm very nostalgic with this brand because as a teenager, this was my favorite lip brand. I love their lip glosses and their lipstick and um I don't know, I just I just loved it at the you know, when I was when I was a teenager. And so I'm like, you know what? I'll just try that because I was I wanted to try a lot more drugstore products because there's so many great reviews on them and I always feel like I just always kind of feel like all of my makeup stuff is just from department store or luxury and I'm like maybe I should just try you know drugstore you know what's the harm in that so you can definitely tell the difference um between this one and the NARS lip product I believe the NARS is over $20 or over $30 this is like a tenth of the cost or less depending on where you live you can actually see the difference. So anyway, it's supposed to be moisturizing, full coverage color that wears like second skin. Um, I have it on. I love the shade, by the way. Um, it doesn't feel like second skin to me. It definitely feels like I have product on my lips. Um, it's not full coverage, I think. I think the reason that I don't believe it's full coverage because it's very chalky. Um, when you when I put it on, it glides very smooth like butter. However, the pigmentation and the consistency of the product is very chalky and it just kind of breaks down. It's very strange. Um, and again, I haven't really been using um, drugstore lip products for X amount of time. At least five years, I think. Was that when I discovered I was allergic to beeswax? Because that's when I really um, threw out about 90, 95% of my lip products and a lot of skincare products because I was allergic to beeswax and I figured that out by myself. Um, and I looked at every single ingredient that was there and a lot of the products that I was using it did have beeswax. That's why I would get a flare up all the time. I didn't know that and if you don't even know that and you get this um, line on the top of your lip and it burns sometimes and it it's it's always diagnosed as some kind of it's diagnosed a lot of times as viral like a what is that cold sore I was diagnosed with that and I said I never had cold sore in my life this is not a cold sore and I did my research and I did my digging and I was allergic to beeswax or technically also called when you're at your doctor bee, bee bomb. That's what they call it. Um, so anyway, it's really hard to find a really good lip product for me, especially for the drugstore brand because a lot of them do use beeswax because it is very cheap to you um, as an ingredient. So this one, I was like, you know what, I'll give it a shot and it was only like 350 so who cares? But I don't like this at all. I really thought I was going to love it because it's wet and wild and it's a velvet matte. So I kind of thought wet and wild for me, uh, you know, back in my teenage years, I really did love it. And um, I've tried the velvet matte from NARS and I kind of thought there's so many items out there that you always get. People saying, oh, I got a dupe. I got a dupe um, way cheaper from this very expensive version. And I thought this would be like a perfect dupe for it. But for whatever reason, this doesn't work. 
and the color is berry tails i don't know if the color is if it that is also the problem to it because sometimes the um like if you get like a more deeper pink or a red or um like that kind of shade when it's it's more pigmented to begin with maybe sometimes it can actually not be chalky at all but in all in all fairness though it doesn't matter what the shade of lip product you have it shouldn't be chalky you know i love the shade i love it and it looks really great on camera but in person it is super chalky it is really gross um i don't i think if I decide to keep this and not throw it out, I'll probably use this as like a lip balm, the tinted lip balm at home um, because I don't think I'll ever want to use this outside the house because it is really chalky and it kind of, it's it's not good. Um, also, what was I going to say? Um, I... I like the fact that you just twist the bottom and it would just automatically go up with the NARS version it's not like that the NARS you really do have to get a um, an, a sharpener to get more product out that was the part that I didn't like about the NARS one was that you have to sharpen it and you do lose a lot of product with that because when you're sharpening it you're also taking off the lip product as um as well and that's the part i really didn't like although it would last me quite a bit of time because it was very long lasting this one is not long lasting at all um when i was taking a sip of water it transferred a lot of it transferred to my cup and i can look at my lips and it it was even like a lot of it got, got taken off you can really see um you can really see like the difference so it was chalky and a lot of it came off um i do not recommend this product at all it is terrible i think it's horrible um i just don't recommend it it's a horrible horrible product i just like even though it's really cheap i think you should have a little bit more pride in your products and actually make it worthwhile even if it's 350 you know what I mean like just because it's 350 doesn't mean it should be crappy so anyway this is the full review whoops the full review in regards to wet n wild velvet map map sorry lip color do not recommend two thumbs down I give it from one out of five stars I give it a zero yeah maybe a maybe a one because of the color i like the color but and how you just twist the bottom and everything's um everything gets refilled but other than that i really don't like it i hate it and i do not recommend it at all um so thank you guys for stopping by and i'll see you again next time bye thank you so much for watching my video please uh, hit the like button subscribe button and the bell so you'll be notified whenever i do upload a new video don't forget to expand the description box because as much as possible i always try to get coupons for you guys discount codes and other goodies uh, like that um, i also have my twitter information instagram snapchat and for business increase i have my email there as well thank you guys and i'll see you again next time bye